Hi, welcome to the brand new episode of Cute Diary. At some point of time, everyone would have felt need for a trained, licensed professional to work out our emotions, feelings and problems that are way out of our control. To assist us on this, we have with us Dr. Meera Shruti, Assistant Surgeon, District Hospital, Idiki. Hello doctor, welcome to our show. As I've already mentioned, I don't think in the present scenario there would be anyone who has never felt a panic attack or an emotional outburst or a stress headache. How often do you, uh, do you see these patients in your clinic? As Dr. Naushin said uh, earlier, adolescent time is a time where you're having a lot of chances, challenges, experiments and explorations. During this time, you have a lot of explorations, so uh, psychosocial explorations, then social stigmas you are facing. So all this will put adolescents into a, uh, into a situation where you have a lot of stresses. These stresses can precipitate a lot of problems. I think you have a lot of problems to ask me. Most welcome. Exactly. Let's go to the first question. Uh, hello doc, uh, my name is Jens, uh, I am working at UST Global and my question is uh, what are the health issues if I am skipping my breakfast regularly? Okay, breakfast is an important meal for anyone, it just uh, breaks the fasting period. When you have your dinner, then a lot of time you are sleeping, then you wake up and you have the breakfast. So it, it just breaks the uh, fasting period. So what is the use of breakfast is that it just replenishes the energy source in your body uh, to give more of glucose to your body, other nutrients, etc. in order to keep your, keep your energy up during the daytime. So most of the times do, uh, these adolescents skip breakfast maybe because they are not getting the breakfast readily uh, available breakfast or if they are not uh, not bothered to take any breakfast or most of the times what they will do is they will try to be in bed rather than having breakfast so skipping breakfast is a major problem which can it can actually uh, lead to a lot of uh, problems during adolescent age groups such as um, they can lead to poor performance uh, poor performance because high energy breakfast can uh, keep you uh, healthy during the daytime you can involve in lot of uh, activities without any fatigue other thing is that uh, there are certain studies which is shown which have been shown that uh, those who are uh, regularly skipping breakfast uh, become uh, gaining more of weight and uh, one more thing is that uh, if you are skipping your breakfast mostly they will go for some junk foods they will uh, go outside and eat some snacks uh, during your morning time that can lead to severe other health, uh, health issues so it is better not to uh, skip your breakfast uh, have your breakfast regularly be healthy always so viewers, if you want a healthy life and a good performance, don't skip breakfast. Let's go to the next question. Hello doctor, my name is Renit and I am working in UST Global. And I have heard like once you start smoking, you can't really stop. Is it true? Yes. Uh, most of the adults have this uh, uh, doubt like once you have started smoking, you can't stop. Uh, smoking is a very uh, uh, ha it's a habit which is very hard to stop. Uh, it is because of the addiction caused by the nicotine which is you are uh, usually seeing in this uh, cigarette products. So uh, these teens will start uh, their smoking habits because their family members or friends will start to do things. They will see this and they will try to uh, pretend as adults or just in a social circle just to yeah 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 they, they just uh, try to the most common problem among teenagers is the peer pressure they always try to imitate their friends or family members who are very uh, you know very close very very close who, to who them they consider as an old one. yeah yeah seriously and uh, the this nicotine no this is a very hazardous thing which is present in cigarette products they can act as both as a stimulant as well as a depressant mm, in as a stimulant it can initially increase your heart rate which can keep you alert so you will be more feel you more energy when you are having a cigarette for the first time but later it can uh, lead into depression uh, and fatigue so these are the withdrawal symptoms so what the teens will uh, do with this fatigue and syndrome they will uh, think like oh I, I've just had, uh, started my smoking so I can't quit this uh, quit from this smoking so I have to take another puff to get uh, rid from this problem so they will go for another puff of a cigarette to just spur from this problem but don't worry there are uh, certain uh, 
uh, tips that you can get rid from this problem with the right approach you can definitely quit smoking uh, the tips including uh, first of all you have to set a date when you are quitting the smoking just throw away whatever products you have the cigarette products even drug abuse persons can use this method you can just throw away the cigarettes or whatever drug you are abusing just throw away just write out write down what are the triggering factors which is leading to you to take a smoke so just write out write down the triggering factors just avoid, try to avoid the triggering factors one thing you have to remember is uh, don't quit uh, in a moment or just suddenly don't quit from smoking just try to quit from smoking gradually that is the one thing you should remember and alternatively you can use some uh, uh, nicotine gums patches to uh, for uh, patches to reduce uh, your craving for uh, smoking uh, these are the few tips you can remember to quit smoking and uh, most of the times if, if you aren't able to do things perfectly you can ask a help of your medical practitioner to help you uh, in uh, help you in quitting this uh, smoking habit i'm sure these are very useful tips because smoking is a serious health hazard for everyone let's go to the next question hello doctor uh, my name is babul and i'm working in usc global my question is that uh, what are the side effects of crash dieting crash dieting is something which every adolescent will always try to do this is because of the negative body imaging they are getting during their adolescent uh, age uh, age period because uh, they will try to imitate most of the times they will try to imitate some film stars or uh, some uh, role models as they are seeing in along with uh, some uh, friends or some role models they just try to be like them so what they used to do is just the crash dieting so crash dieting is something very uh, you know very problematic one they, that can lead to some serious health health hazards not even uh, not even immediately but later they can cause so many problems the major problem is when you are you are taking crash diets your body is deprived of nutrition so this nutrition uh, deprivation can lead into a lot of problems like early osteoporosis most of the teens uh, uh, we are encountering lot of uh, prob uh, problems like muscle pain bony pain they usually came to opd with lot of such problems so mainly when we are taking the history from them they will uh, tell like doctor i am just uh, skipping the breakfast or just i am just taking a crash diet so uh, the body will be will not be getting the sufficient nutrition as uh, since they are in a uh, age, age group where the body is growing both physically as well as mentally so uh, they won't be getting enough nutrition from the diet they are taking uh, maybe a deficiency of calcium is there deficiency of iron is there so they will be de definitely getting some muscle pains bony pains and the other thing is crash diets will uh, lead into severe headache because uh, diets give sufficient nutrition to your brain so if you are not taking your food uh, uh, food regularly or if you are not taking sufficient food it can lead into reduced level of glucose in your body which can lead to headache other problem is it can uh, lead into heart problems because sudden metabolic changes happening there in your body which can lead to sudden heart problems arrhythmias can occur sudden death even sudden death is reported in teenagers who are going for crash dieting uh, other thing is um, uh, this can uh, lead them into eating disorders eating disorders like uh, uh, purging binging as well as emotional eating because once they just uh, started their crash dieting if they are finding it is not at all going good they will go for oh i'm not uh, getting uh, getting the effect from my crash dieting they will go for another binge eating that can lead again into emotional eating and lead into uh, later problems like obesity uh, then diabetes melters hypertension hypercholesterolemia all that problems can occur even uh, the vital organs may shut down because of this crash dieting so it is better to avoid crash dieting rather go for a healthy nutrition diet as you were mentioning about uh, crash dieting just the other side of the coin like emotional eating where you eventually will put on how to deal with it and how to avoid this 
okay somehow we are all uh, emotional eaters but it uh, it creates a problem when this emotional eating will lead into a long term problem like uh, weight gaining as well as purging or binging so emotional eating is a greater problem among adolescent age groups because when you emotional e emotionally eat you will eat more of high fat food which is less in nutrients less in proteins and other met other uh, minerals so this will uh, lead into uh, weight gain uh, suicidal tendencies because they are just eating uh, major maybe the uh, uh, underlying uh, problem may be a depression or anxiety so that can lead into suicidal tendencies headache insomnia that is sleep disorders can occur and long term they can develop into diabetes mellitus hypertension hypercholesterolemia even gallbladder diseases they can have and muscle and joint pains they will get so these are the major uh, health issues if you have uh, this emotional eating so emotional eating something which uh, everyone knows i am eating emotionally but uh, it is very hard for them to break the emotional eating cycle so there comes the nutritionist as well as the psychologist the psychologist ha can help you a lot to find out what triggers you in emotional eating so if it is a stress factor or something else they will find out and they will help you otherwise the nutritionist the nutritionist is someone which can alter the your eating pattern so they can help you a lot uh, along with this you can seek help from a medical practitioner also okay so you mean to say that there is a cure for this yes yes definitely. okay let's go to the next question hello doctor i am nikhil i am working in tcs and my question is uh, junk food or fast food is becoming a stable part of our lifestyle so will it cause long term health issues okay junk foods junk foods that uh, that is mostly contains high amount of fat both saturated and unsaturated fat it contains lot of sugars and salts it is it, uh, it contains less amount of fibers it lacks nutrients like iron and calcium so what happened is uh, this will given in high amounts uh, which can uh, give lot of uh, uh, calories lot of energies uh, to the teams uh, yes yes at a time they they will be getting more energies at a time so what happened is all these things can cause uh, cause, uh, cause lot of problems during their later life even though they are not getting anything at present so this can lead into problems like diabetes hypertension hypercholesterolemia constipation and also poor concentration because the the brain is not getting the sufficient food that can lead into poor concentration so definitely uh, this junk foods are a notorious one and mostly someone uh, if you uh, if you are hearing this uh, i i have already said uh, sugary fizzy drinks causes problem not only this sugary fizzy drinks but non sugary as uh, non sugary drinks can produce acidity uh, that can lead into a uh, lot of bone as well as uh, dental problems so it is better to avoid junk foods or fast foods but uh, ma'am nowadays in market we are getting a lot of low calorie junk foods yes. what do you we want that whatever be it is the junk food just remember that whatever be it is we don't know what is the ingredient is all Uh, the purpose of junk food is to give you uh, uh, more energy so the teens will eat uh, 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 this junk foods to get more energy rather than going for homemade foods or uh, they just make it as a uh, as a or as a part of their lifestyle uh, to show off yeah seriously to show you of so having so this might can you just run as very high yeah yeah But seriously nothing. because uh, taking one pizza or burger that is enough for a day the, uh, some teens will think like that so that is not a good actually that is not at all good actually because body needs various nutritions like iron calcium and um, um, fiber fiber is very much important for your body for uh, and the nutritional food is definitely help you lot uh, lot uh, in your daily performance performance to increase the body activity increase your body activity your mental ability your performance definitely depends upon nutritional foods only junk foods are definitely contains lot of uh, uh, i mean uh, lot of uh, fats which are not at all good for your body as well as there uh, deficiency of iron and calcium some and uh, some minerals so it is better to avoid junk foods whatever be it is even though as you said yeah nothing can beat our idli dosa yeah yeah definitely and, uh, definitely uh, yes okay. yes the homemade foods are very much uh, you know important for your uh, body uh, for it, it replenishes a lot uh, your body 
Okay. Doctor, we have received a lot of mail from our viewers. Some are selected. Uh, this is the first mail. I am a student and am ha having headache almost all the day. Till now, I haven't consulted a doctor. Is it stress induced or something else? Okay. Headache is a major problem that the teens are encountering. We are getting a lot of cases in our OPDs like, uh, Doctor, I am having headache almost all the day, uh, all the day. So I can't uh, go uh, go for my schools daily. So I am getting lot of absent uh, absence in my school. So I can't uh, concentrate on my studies. So this is a major problem most of the teens are encountering. Headaches may be either a primary headache or maybe a, due to some secondary causes. Uh, the teens are mostly getting this primary type of headache. This primary type of headache mainly contains this stress induced headache and the migraine type of headache. Uh, this uh, stress induced or the tension type of headache, we can say it is a, a tension type of headache, can be of two types. It can be either uh, episodic one. Uh, that is it uh, occurs less than 15 days in a month or it can be a chronic type of headache which can which can be more than 15 days in a month so whatever be uh, the headache uh, it is a greater problem for them you can't point out a, any uh, any cause that is causing your emotional headache I mean your uh, tension headache or your stress induced headache you can't point out a single problem because our adolescents having a lot of psychological problems stresses that can, anything can precipitate this. and mostly these headaches are not only associated with headaches only they can have other problems like dizziness fatigability and uh, poor concentration pains at various regions of your body like uh, neck pain back pain and abdominal pain uh, then uh, anxiety sleeping disorders all these can be a part of this stress induced headache another thing is that migraine type of headache which you are getting intermittent and uh, they are severe throbbing type of headache associated with the nausea sometimes people try to avoid uh, lights and uh, uh, talkings uh, some orders that can also precipitate sometimes this migraine type of headaches but there are some you, you should know there are some secondary causes you are headache like uh, this uh, visual problems that is a greater problem among adolescents visual problems uh, usually these teenagers definitely they are using computers a lot as well as the mobile phones uh, uh, they will be definitely having this visual problems another thing is the hormonal changes hormonal changes somehow which is rampant among adolescent girls is that uh, during menstrual periods they are getting headaches so they will be always worried about this headache because this estrogen uh, changes uh, that fluctuant estrogen levels in your body uh, will be causing this type of headaches another thing is uh, the foods which are skipping if uh, your brain is not getting sufficient nutrition that can lead into headache uh, so these are the some secondary causes of your headache so it is better to uh, go for a uh, medical practitioners rather than using analgesics at the time of your headache in order to uh, rule out what is the cause of your headache it is better to go for a medical practitioner okay let's go to second mail i'm a teenager having severe acne problem is it due to my food habit or how can i get rid of this okay uh, we are getting uh, so many queries about this uh, from the teenagers that whether my food habit is related to my acne problem uh, definitely this is a issue of uh, uh, debate for a long time uh, whether food habits are associated with this uh, food in, uh, I mean uh, your acne problem uh, usually the acne during adolescent age is uh, not due to food habits but they it's not purely uh, related to food habits but it can aggravate aggravate your acne problems it is definitely due to the hormonal changes that is occurring due to the due to puberty uh, but uh, you can use some fresh tips uh, to uh, reduce your problems like you can wash your face intermittently uh, then if you are using some hair sprays or uh, gels uh, to reduce the use of it doesn't allow it to come to your face then you can uh, uh, even have uh, uh, some OTC product that is over the counter products you can use but uh, some teens uh, always tells like I am using some uh, face creams but it is not at all useful for me doctor so in that case you can come to some medical practitioner where you can uh, where we can give you some oral antibiotics if uh, the problem is so severe and uh, we can give uh, some antibiotics local topical antibiotics like uh, doxycycline as well as isotretinoin so don't be uh, so worried about your acne it is a part of your uh, physiological changes happening during adolescent age 
this was quite a valuable session. You have given a lot of tips regarding how to tackle acne, emotional eating, binge eating and all. All your further queries will be answered to youthdiaryrosebowl at gmail.com.